Hello, hi everybody. Hello everybody. So today's webinar is going to be on the Gymkhana and Massimo will give you a nice presentation and demonstration of some, some keys today. Um, yeah, so before I pass, pass it on to Massimo, I'll give you a quick, quick uh, information on the machine. La prima pagina. No. I'm sorry, one second. Okay, here we are. Well, the Gymkhana is our latest machine for automotive keys, and they are, it's for both laser and double sided edge cut keys. Um, right, so the um, innovative side of this machine is that. Well, you can use it both with the console, the standard console, um, keyline console, uh, console, and uh, um, um, it means that you can work standalone. Then the, um, there is a possibility to use it also with the, your Android um, smartphone or tablet. Right. What you need to do here is simply download it, the um, duplicating tool app from our website and uh, to use it with your, with your smartphone or tablet. And the advantage here is that the software will always be up to date. You don't need to manually update the, you know, the software like you do with the, um, with the console. And the, the functions here on the app will be simplified. Okay, then I'll uh, just give you um, some quick information on what you have when you order the machine, what accessories you will find. There will be a universal clamp, which is called U, U clamp, which is self aligning, and you need no tip stop tool to use it. Also included with the machine, there is a um, clamp for the new Volkswagen keys, which is the B clamp. And with these uh, two clamps, you can cover approximately uh, the 90% yes. of, the, of all the keys. Right, and uh, yeah, also the cutter and axis are, have adjustable speed. So, okay, I, I gave you like very, very quick information on, on the, you know, the features of the machine. Now Massimo will go on the real presentation. And um, at the end, if you have, well, if you have any questions, you can write them also now. And um, yeah, you can write them on the chat, but at the end we will read them and uh, answer them right away. So if you can just, wait till the end, we will answer all of them. Thank you, Massimo, you can start. Okay, thank you, Elena. Okay, now we are already on the machine. So here you can see the UJO, and uh, as Elena told you, the standard configuration of the machine is with the UJO, where you can cut uh, uh, flat keys, all the flat keys, and also the laser keys. And then we have uh, in the standard configuration, we have also the VJO where you can cut uh, all the Volkswagen keys and also the new style uh, Volkswagen keys. To do, uh, to cut these keys, you need uh, uh, for the new one uh, an optional cutter. Here, you can see the, the cutter and here the, the tracer. The cutter is 1.5 uh, millimeter and the tracer, the machine work with the electrical contact. So uh, the machine will touch the, the keys to recognize uh, the track of, uh, of the keys. With the 
you Joe, you have also this tool that is the rear stop tool. So for all the key blanks that have the, the rear stop, you need to use this, uh, to insert this tool in the track, in the, in the Joe that is in this position, but later I will show you better with one key. And here, when you insert the, the key in the Joe, the key with the rear stop with the the rear stop tool you give the correct position of the key in in the jaw instead if you have to to cut the key with the tip stop uh, you don't need to use any uh, tool to stop the key in the correct position because the machine before it goes to cut recognize where is the key in uh, in the jaw the software will give you only some uh, information where to put the key. If you don't put the key in the correct position, the machine uh, will tell you that the, the key is not in the correct position. And the software will stop you to not allow you to cut the, the key. Okay, now we can move on the, on the software. This is the, the main menu of the software, the Liger, that is, uh, we have the same software in all the, the machine. And here mainly you can use uh, uh, two icons to, uh, to cut the key blank. You can cut by a uh, name of the, the car or uh, for the name of the key blank. Okay, I start for from uh, the name of the of the vehicles. In this case, we have uh, we enter in vehicles. We enter, for example, this one is uh, Opel. Is Opel Insignia, Opel Vauxhall, like. We press on next. You select the, the year of the of the car. So you insert name, brand, name of the car, and then you select the year. In this case, there is only one series from 2008 till now. You press on next, and you arrive in the in the menu where you can decide how, how you want to. Uh, cut the key blank. In this case, we select uh, decode. So we press on decode. The machine tell you where you have to insert the key blank in the in the jaw. So in this case, the machine tell you to insert the key blank on the line that is marked in the in the jaw line position or stop u1 but in this case you can also uh, put the key not correctly in the stop u1 the important is that uh, the track of the key is totally out in the in the jaw so if you put the key uh, inside in the in the jaw the machine will tell you, will stop and check, tell you to check the position of the key. So now we can move on the on the jaw and I will show you how to insert the key blank. So we insert the key blank in around stop U1. And then we press on next and the machine will start to uh, decode the, the key. The machine now goes to recognize the, the Joe, if it's the correct Joe installed. And then 
will check where is the key in the Joe and start to decode the, the key. If the key is not in the correct position, the machine will tell you, will stop and tell you to put the key in the correct position. So now the machine is decoding the, the original key. And as I told you before, the machine is working with the, the electrical contact. So touch the key in the correct position. Okay, now the machine stop to decode and the machine will tell you on the software that the decode is complete. Now we can press on okay and the machine will show you uh, the direct depths. So these are all the direct depths. So it's two, 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 one, one, three, three, four. But also we'll show you the indirect code of the of the key. So this code is Z4678. This code is important to, to know because uh, uh, for example, one customer, you decode one key for the customer and uh, you give uh, to the customer this code and the customer, for example, lose all the key without, uh, if the customer have this code that usually the customer has also at home, but maybe he doesn't know where is this code, this, this uh, card with the indirect code. You can give this code to the customer and the customer can uh, return and you can cut uh, again the key without uh, the key blank of the customer. Here, if you press on key blank, if you don't know which key blank to you to cut this kind of key, the machine will tell you some, uh, will show you some uh, key producer with the correct reference to uh, cut this kind of uh, key blank. For example, the key line is 2x5u. We show you also the blank. We press on next. And here on under key blank, you will see the, the key blanks that you have to, to use. Okay. Here, if you see there are also the, the star and the notes. If, uh, for example, you press on the on the star, you will save this um, not the key but the the card. This system, for example, uh, the, the system that cut uh, uh, Opel keys in your uh, bookmarks. So every time you have to cut this uh, kind of key, for example, you are near a, a Opel dealer and you cut mostly uh, Opel key, you can save uh, this kind of keys in the, in the bookmark. So you just press on the star, you can press, uh, you can write whatever you want. So for example, you can write Opel. UX that is key line blank. We press on next, save custom information, yes. And here you have the, the star that now is black. So means that you have saved the, this card, this system in the, in the bookmark. Moreover, if you press on the notes, you can save some personal note to these uh, keys, to this system. For example, uh, you can uh, write uh, use uh, always original key or use a brass key, some notes that uh, you need. For example, uh, I can write, uh, for example, use uh, horseshoe keys.
refresh on next, save custom information, yes, and now you see that the pencil is uh, black. This means that you save some uh, notes in this uh, in these keys. Okay, now we press on modify, we press on next, and we arrive in the in the cutting menu. Here in the cutting menu, the machine will show you some other information. For example, the cutter that you have to use, uh, the speed. The machine has a different speed for the different kind of uh, material of the keys. And for example, the machine has brass, aluminum, nickel, silver, steel, custom speed. The ca so uh, the customer can create uh, one uh, customized speed from the parameters. And when the customer mod modify the material of the key, automatically the machine will uh, uh, change the speed of the cutter, of the rotation of the cutter, the RPM of the cutter, and the speed of the movement of the axis. Then here on the top right corner, there's the quantities. If the customer needs to cut more than one key, just press here. Instead, if the customer, if you press on save, you can uh, save the key in the archive. So if you press on save, you save, you save the key in the archive. And you save this kind, this specific key. Instead, if uh, you press on the star, you will save the system, so the card that use uh, that you use frequently in the bookmarks. So now if you press on save, you can save this specific key in the archive. So I save, for example, webinar. I press on save. And now we save this key blank in the archive. Later I will show you how to find the key in the archive and also how to uh, check your uh, your bookmark. Now uh, I will show you how uh, the machine cut this key. So I change the I put a new key in the Joe. I press on cut. Now the machine verify the, the jaw, verify the position of the key in the, in the jaw and will start to cut. In this case, the, you, after cut the first side, the machine will, uh, will tell you to remove the key, the key 180 degrees and cut uh, the second side of uh, of the blank. So now the machine recognizes the position of the of the key in the jaw and now start to cut the the blank. As you can see, the machine is quite fast to, to cut the key. Okay, now has finished to cut and the machine will ask you to uh, turn the key in uh, 180 degrees and cut the, the, second, uh, the second side. But now I will show you how to, if you see, now please rotate the key 180 degrees, but I will show you to cut the key 
if uh, you don't know uh, which is the which is the the brand the name of the vehicle but you know uh, if the key is uh, you know the reference of the of the blank okay for example now i will show you to cut a, a toyota key so the machine cut also a flat key double side so this key blank is a key line reference tr tr 47u so i enter by tr 47u press on next here you have the the blank of the the key and the profile you press on next and always you arrive in this menu where you can decide how to uh, cut the the blank now i show you cut by decode and the machine will tell you to insert the blank in the in the jaw and with the same tip stop of the opel of the opel of the opel blank later i will show you for example to cut uh, one uh, fiat blank that the machine will tell you to uh, use the the tip stop uh, the rear stop sorry to insert the the tip uh, stop the rear stop in the in the jaw so now we can move on the the jaw and as before you have just to insert the the blank in the in the jaw close the jaw the jaw is uh, out of centering jaw so this means that uh, when you close the key the jaw automatically close the key in the correct position and always in the center of the jaw we press on next and the machine will uh, decode the 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 blank Also in this case, the machine recognizes where is the key in the in the jaw and start to decode the the blank. As you can see, the machine decode only one side of uh, the key because the the key is uh, symmetrical. So the the machine know that one side is the same of the of the other side. So now you can move on the the software and the machine the software show you that the machine has decoded the blank. And here you have like before the the depths of the of the key and the indirect code of the the indirect code of the of the key now if you press on next you will arrive in the cutting menu to cut again the the blank but i will show you another thing before then if you press on modify you can also uh, work on the key so you can modify the the depth of the key you can modify uh, the, the step or you can modify 10 cent of millimeter or uh, one cent of millimeter but you can also i will show you 
if you can see the machine when decode the the key automatically compare what decode with the data that are inside the machine so compare uh, what decode with the original depth of the of the key so here you can decide if you want to cut one key like original key so means like uh, a new key or the key that come out the producer the manufacturer of the car or you can make a copy of the key so you will cut the same key that is inside the the jaw and here if you can see you have the red line and the yellow line the red line means uh, what the what is the original uh, card and the yellow line is what the machine decode so if you want to cut uh, uh, make a copy of the key you can press here in this uh, icon this chain and close the the chain press on this uh, on the round arrow and select on the glasses when you select on the glasses you will cut what the machine decode so you will do a copy of the key and you see that once i press on the glasses here you don't have the the number of the depths but we have the percentual so this means that the the next step when you go to cut the key you will cut the key like a copy of the key so if the key is worn you will make the same key if instead you press on this icon on the card you see that you will cut the key like original key with and here you can see that there are all the the depths then now i press on next i arrive in the cutting menu and i will show you how to how the machine will cut the keys in this case uh, for the flat keys you don't need to uh, turn the key 180 degrees but the machine will cut the key uh, in one step so first one side and then the other side you put the key around stop stop one we press on cut and the machine will start to to cut the key Okay, now the machine starts to cut the key after recognize uh, the jaw and the key position, and now we'll start to cut the, the key. As you can see, the machine will cut the key without, you don't need to turn the key, but the machine, or to move the key, just leave the key in the jaw and the machine will cut uh, automatically the complete key. Okay, so the cut is complete and here you have the, the blank cut. Now I, I will show you uh, what the machine tell you or show you if you have to cut a, a, a key with the rear stop. 
In this case, I will show you uh, uh, fiat keys that you can use, you can cut in this jaw, or can be also BMW key, or in this case, this one is a key blank, key line key blank is FT22U. You press on next, you press on next, if you press on decode, you see that the machine will show you this uh, uh, blue tools. That is the the tool that you have to use to put the key in the correct position in the jaw with the, the rear stop. So we can move on the jaw. We insert the the tip, the rear stop. We insert the key blank. Okay, we remove the, the rear stop and we press on next and the machine will start to decode. We'll tell you, please remove the shoulder stop just to be sure that you remove this, the rear stop. Now the machine will start to decode, but if you can see, before start to decode, the machine will check if you really remove the, the rear stop. So now the machine is checking if you remove the rear stop and then start to decode the the key. Okay, now the machine finished to decode and is the same of uh, the other uh, the other uh, key blank. So we press on decode and here you have the the indirect code and the and the depth. Then the machine permit you to do also other uh, other things. For example, if the customer is without uh, the keys, so the customer lose uh, all the keys, but uh, you have the indirect code. For example, DE02708, you can, and, and the customer has this code, you can, if you enter by code, you can enter directly the indirect code and the machine will search in the database this uh, indirect code, compare with the, the data that has inside and permit you to cut the, the key. For example, now we insert DE02708. And the machine here show you uh, the system or the, the cars that have this kind of uh, indirect code. We know that uh, uh, is a Fiat or is Alfa Romeo, Jeep or, Ferrari, what the, the customer have, you press on, you select the correct uh, car, you press on next, and you arrive directly in the window where the machine will show you the, the keys that you have to, to cut. Then you press on next, and you arrive always in the, in the cutting menu. Another uh, function that has the, the machine has is, for example, uh, the customer lose the keys, lose also the card, so you don't know also the, in, the indirect code, but you have some tools to, that permit you to read the, the depths of the, the lock, for example, like Lishi, Turbo Decoder, or you are able to remove the lock from the 
the door or the ignition and you are able to read the the plate inside you can uh, enter the the depths of the of the blank for example i show you always on fiat we can that this we can do in all the blank we select for example uh, you know that is uh, also a jeep we can do jeep compass we select we know the year of the car we press on next we press on direct and here we can insert the the depths of the of the plate that you read with the the leash or if you remove the lock from the from the door so we insert b a b a b a b -A and now we can press on find codes and the machine will check if these depths correspond to a code so in this case the machine in the software in the database found uh, this code so is DE02708 you press on OK here appear the, the code you press on next and you will cut the, the blank if for example you are not able to read uh, or uh, to read uh, all the depths or recognize of the, all the depths in the in the lock for example you miss one or more uh, one or more depths and you press on find codes the machine will find in the in the database in the software all the um, what's, all the keys that you can cut with uh, the other depths. So if you miss two depths, you have, you, you can cut or try to cut five or six keys. This is important because if you have a, a manual machine, you can't uh, cut all these kind of keys because uh, if the customer is without the is without the the key you can't cut the the blank now i show you as i told you before to find if you save the system in your bookmark in your say in your favorites you just press here and here you see that we uh, save uh, opel Wix 5 or Opel Insignia, the, the name is, uh, is refer what you want. You press on next and you arrive directly in the menu where you can decide to uh, cut the key. This is important to uh, save sometimes instead to enter uh, in vehicles, uh, Insignia, Opel Insignia, you can enter directly in favorite and you arrive directly in the menu in the cutting menu okay if you have question you can write in the chat and uh, later i will answer uh, to the question there's no problem for us if you press instead on archive and press on archive here you can find the key that you save in the cutting menu so we can press on next and here you see we have the blank that we save uh, before so if the customer uh, return again and you have saved the customer uh, data you can cut the key without uh, any problem and also you can see here in the in the note that maybe you have also some notes for this kind of uh, customer or this kind of uh, key Then another important uh, search is uh, uh, 
advanced search that uh, permit you to insert uh, a lot of different uh, information in the machine. So more information you give the machine to the machine, the machine will uh, restrict the the area where the machine the machine will search the the information. So you can insert the, for example, the key type, the cylinder, or the card, the card, the code. So a lot of information and this will help you or will help the software to uh, find easily the the blank or the key that you have to to cut then as i told you before the machine has a, a standard as two joe the u joe and the v joe but if, uh, for example, you have to cut uh, TBE keys or uh, uh, simplex keys, that simplex is uh, are the Citroen or the uh, Peugeot old key, we have a optional Joe that is called uh, uh, SDO that permit to cut this kind of simplex key. Instead, we have the H Joe that permit you to cut the the tibe the tibe keys okay as uh, elena uh, tell you before we have also the the app on the mobile that we can use to uh, you can use with the machine so you have just to download the app from android and save uh, the app on your uh, on your mobile and uh, you can work by bluetooth between the machine and the and the mobile and you can cut the key without any problem the uh, the app is this one, so you download the, I will show you the app is this one. Here you have all the information. The app is not, uh, you don't have all the function that you have in the, in the console, but you can cut the key if you want by searching by E blank or by uh, code or you can cut by uh, brand uh, and model and and here and the, for example you have the machine with a console but uh, you have to uh, move the you have to move the machine to in the van and move to do a job instead to uh, bring with you the console you can bring only the machine and use the the app to work with the the machine the machine is not so heavy is around 15 16 kilos so you can move the machine and work uh, with the app when the machine is not connected to the to the console the machine will work without any problem with the the mobile you have just to pair the the machine with the Bluetooth, and uh, you can work with the, the app. I don't know if you have some question or uh, something that I can uh, answer. If something is not clear, I'm here for, for you. We have one question for Massimo. Is the machine working 12 volts with the van battery? No, the machine works uh, with uh, 48 volts. 
and uh, maybe in the future the machine can work also with the uh, with the, the the battery but at the moment the machine work with the the external power supply 48 volts okay thank you i have another question massimo yes uh, if i buy the machine with the console can i use it also with the app sorry don't understand it. if i buy the machine with the console can i also use the same machine with the app yes you can use uh, uh, the machine with uh, the app just download the the app from the market and you can use uh, you can use the the machine okay important is that if the machine is connected with the console, the machine work with the console. You have just to uh, turn on the machine without connect the console, and then you can pair the, the machine to the, the Bluetooth, with the Bluetooth to the mobile. Okay, thank you. Another one. Does the Gymkhana have the same database as the Total, Ninja Total? Uh, yes, because the machine, uh, if you are speaking about uh, car keys, is uh, the same database. The, the Gymkhana has only uh, car keys in the database, so uh, the database is similar, but it's not the same because uh, there's no the uh, residential key and the, the residential key and the and the, the, the impulse keys. Okay, thank you Massimo. I think, I think we are done for today. I hope to see you next week, same time with us. We're going to have a webinar on the key coins, our virtual currency. And uh, the, the following weeks, we are going to focus only on the automotive. So, we will send you information. Bye. Bye.